Elon Musk's bold Grok 4. Claims vs. Grok 3.5 Elon Musk just announced that Grok's next release is so powerful that he's calling it Grok 4. Instead of 3.5, he claimed that Grok's new version will be the smartest AI by a significant margin. Everyone is curious to know what's coming. Our curiosity led us to dig through the most reliable sources to find out what's ahead. We discovered that the anticipated features include multimodal capabilities, advanced reasoning systems, voice vision integration, and much more, which we'll break down in detail. Welcome back to bitbs.ai, where we separate AI hype from reality. If you're tired of waiting for Grok's latest update while getting bombarded with conflicting rumors, this video is specifically for you. I've been digging through insider leaks and official announcements to bring you only the information that has real evidence behind them. What I found suggests Grow4 might actually change how we think about AI. We'll cover what Elon has been saying about the new model release and timeline, as well as the upcoming features that are being reported for Grow4. Let's dive into what's really coming so you know exactly what to expect. Elon's comments about Grow4, if you want to know how serious XAI is about competing with GPT-4, and Claude, just look at what Elon Musk himself has been posting over the past few weeks. He's been teasing, renaming, and finally confirming the next Grok release one tweet at a time. Let me walk you through the complete timeline of what we know straight from Elon himself. It all started on June 15th, when Elon posted something that seemed like just another workout photo. But look closer at the caption, training Grok 3.5 while pumping Iron X AI. This wasn't just a fitness flex Elon was telling us, that model training was still actively happening in mid-June. The model wasn't finalized yet, but it was very much in development, and he was personally involved in the process. Then five days later on June 20th, Elon dropped a bombshell statement that got everyone's attention. I'm increasingly confident that Grok 3.5 will be the smartest AI by a significant margin notice. He was still calling it Grok 3.5 at this point, but the message was crystal clear. He genuinely believes XAI's model will surpass GPT-4 Gemini and Claude. That's an incredibly bold claim that immediately raised expectations across the entire AI community. But the real game changer came on June 22nd when Elon revealed something massive about the user experience deep search and think will activate automatically as needed in Grok 3. 5. This is huge because it means you won't have to manually turn on advanced reasoning or web search anymore. Grok will intelligently decide when to go deeper, when to research, and when to think harder about your question. It's essentially becoming a truly autonomous AI assistant. Then something interesting happened on June 24th. Elon casually tweeted, Actually, we should call it Grok 4, as it's a major upgrade over 3.5. Just like that, we witnessed the Grok 3. 5 to Grok 4. Transformation official rebrand in real time. This wasn't just a marketing decision. Elon was signaling that the improvements were so significant, they deserved an entirely new version number. We were looking at a foundational shift, not just another incremental update. And finally, on June 27th, Elon gave us what we'd all been waiting for working on, Grow4 should release, after July 4th weekend. This was the first official confirmation of both the new name and an actual timeline. The training phase is essentially complete and we're looking at a launch window of July 5th through 7th. So what does this entire timeline tell us? First, Grok evolved from version 3, 5 to 4 in just 10 days, because Elon believes the improvements are that revolutionary second he's clearly hands-on with this project, personally timing updates and confidently positioning Grok to compete directly with the biggest names in AI third, with deep search and think automatically activating this won't just be another chatbot that answers questions, it'll be an AI that reasons and researches autonomously, and most importantly, Grow4 isn't some distant coming soon promise anymore. Based on Elon's timeline, it's launching next week now. Elon's tweets give us hints about what's coming, but they don't tell the whole story to understand why he's so confident about calling this the smartest AI by a significant margin. We need to look at what's actually under the hood based on insider reports and development leaks that have surfaced over the past few weeks. Grow4 is shaping up to be a complete overhaul of how AI assistants work. Grow, four expected features. Let's dive into what Grow4 is expected to have starting with the reasoning revolution. The biggest game changer isn't about speed or size. It's about how Grow4 actually thinks, unlike current AI models that essentially search through internet knowledge and piece together answers. Grow4 is being designed to reason from first principles. This means when you ask a complex technical question instead of pulling from Wikipedia or forums, it dares the answer step by step internally 
Musk confirmed this directly saying Grow4 will provide answers that aren't from internet sources and can handle highly technical topics like rocket engines and electrochemistry with unprecedented accuracy. What this means for you? Imagine having an AI that doesn't just regurgitate existing information, but actually thinks through problems like a specialist for professionals in technical fields. This could be massive. Here's where it gets really interesting. The feature explosion Grow4 isn't just getting smarter. It's getting a complete feature overhaul that could replace multiple apps you're currently using the most credible leaks point to several game-changing additions that are already being tested. Vision in voice mode is showing up in the iOS app right now. You'll be able to point your phone's camera at anything and ask Grok about it in real time. Unlike other AI vision tools, this works while you're talking to Grok normally. So you could be walking around point at a plant and just say, what's this without switching modes? Google Drive integration is being built into the web version. This means Grok will be able to read, analyze, and summarize your personal documents. Need to quickly understand what's in that 50-page contract or want Grok to pull specific data from your spreadsheets. It'll have access to everything in your drive. If you give it permission, built-in image editing is the big surprise here. They're adding a full image editing tool directly into Grok's interface. You can upload any photo and tell Grok to modify it using normal language. Make this more professional, remove the background, change the style to look like a painting, no more switching between Grok and Photoshop or other editing apps. Memory and workspace improvements are also coming. Grok will remember your previous conversations and reference them automatically. Plus, they're adding workspace sharing so you can share your AI projects and conversations with teammates via a link. The interesting part, all these features are being developed simultaneously, which suggests XAI is trying to position Grok as a complete AI workspace rather than just another chatbot. Instead of using five different AI tools, you just use Grok for everything. Now, here's where it gets even more interesting. We've got two major leaks that happened after our last video. And these show Grow4 is closer than we thought. Model selector in the app code, Sleuths found something huge in the Grow iOS app a model selector interface. This means users will soon be able to choose between different Grok versions, like switching from Grok 3 to Grow 4, depending on what you need, this suggests. XAI is planning tiered model options, maybe Grow 3 for quick questions and Grok 4 for complex reasoning tasks. This leak is significant because it shows the infrastructure is already being built for the 3.5 launch voice mode and tasks on web. This is the big one. XAI quietly enabled experimental features on the web version that are clearly prepping for Grow 4 first. They added voice mode to the web app. You can now speak to Grok directly through your browser and get audio responses back. But here's the kicker. Some users are already hearing responses generated by Grow4 in these voice chats, meaning they're A-B testing the new model right now. Second, they leaked a tasks feature that lets you schedule recurring queries or research operations. Think of it like setting up automated research reports. The interface includes something called Deep Search for more thorough real-time web analysis. This points to Grow4 having agent-like automation capabilities instead of just answering questions. It could actively research topics and deliver scheduled reports. This would be a massive shift from reactive AI to proactive AI assistance. The infrastructure beast, the technical specs behind Grow4, explain why everyone's so hyped credible sources suggest we're looking at a 400 billion parameter model that's more than double the size of GPT-3 and potentially rivaling GPT-4's scale. Musk is powering this with his colossus supercomputer using hundreds of thousands of GPUs. This isn't just marketing. It's the computing muscle needed to make that first principles reasoning actually work. The infrastructure investment suggests Musk isn't playing catch-up anymore. He's trying to leapfrog the competition. Timeline reality check entirely. Timeline reality check now. For the reality check on timing, the original May launch got delayed. But here's what we know developers found Grow API references in the backend code. As recently as late May, the iOS app is already showing model selector interfaces like they're preparing for an imminent switch. Beta testing with premium subscribers has likely already started quietly. The public launch appears to be weeks away. Here's what you actually need to know about Grow4. The confirmed features. First principles, reasoning vision, integration, document analysis, and image editing represent a comprehensive AI assistant that goes beyond just chatting for professionals. The Google Drive integration and reasoning capabilities could genuinely change daily workflows for creative users. The built-in image editing removes the need for multiple tools. Will it crush every AI model like the fake leaks claimed? Probably not. 
but it might be the first AI that feels like a true digital assistant. Rather than just a smart search engine, the moment Growth 4 launches will be here with hands-on testing and real-world comparisons. No hype, no speculation, just honest analysis of whether it delivers on these promises. Which of these leaked features are you most excited to try? Let me know in the comments if this breakdown helped cut through the noise, hit that like button and subscribe with notifications on when Grok 4 actually drops, you'll be the first to know if it lives up to the hype or falls flat next week. I'm breaking down why Google's Gemini 2.5 might already have an answer to everything Grow 4 is promising. See you then.